Alright, hey guys. Um, Soggy Scale. I haven't talked to you guys in a while, but I'm just gonna get straight to the point. Um, I'm not gonna edit this video, and uh, these right now are my Sulcata tortoises eating some romaine and attacking each other. Leave each other alone. But, um, Tank and Charlie. I hope it's focusing, sorry if it's not. And they're just going to town, picking up the scraps. Um, they're in the 40 gallon right now. They've got haze of substrate. I mean, nothing changes with the tortoises, because it's a tortoise. I mean, you can't really do much with them. Um, I switched them and Coop him them and Cooper out because Charlie because um tortoises need more room to grow and roam. And uh down here I got Coop in the twenty because one uh it is winter and he doesn't move around as much and also, I needed the tortoises to need more room, and I can't let the tortoises run around my cage because it's so cold, or my cage, my room, because <laughs> it's um winter and it's not as warm. So in the summer, I mean, I'll be switching them out. <coughs> so he's on crushed walnut shells. I don't recommend putting your beer dragon on sand unless you feed him outside the cage, which I do. And um, he just had some romaine, but uh, look out, he just has great colors. But um, he just had romaine, and I feed him on a deli cup dish, like top, so he doesn't um, in, 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 or digest any of the uh, sand. And uh, if you can see, like, tips over everything in his cage, so. And then something that's new that you guys haven't seen is a new cage I got from where I work. And it's a, uh, I got two sliding doors in the front. As you can see, my whites is in it, right down there kind of covered in dirt. I had another whites, a female, and I was planning on breeding them, but when I got her at an expo, she had cuts on her, and I didn't realize it, and it eventually came to the point where I couldn't do anything about it. Um, live plants in here, so you can see there's some moss, my camera would focus, like, you know, just the basic for them. Got some plants, and um, Ecorth as a substrate. And then I have a salamander, but he has some pretty severe cuts, and so I have him with this ointment that I have to rub on his skin. So hopefully he'll be better. I mean, salamanders are, can usually grow back body parts, but he's just got some cuts on him. He's doing good, though. Tiger salamander. I got from a friend, and I would show you guys, but I don't want to stress him out. He's in a different cage, but usually he's with him. And um, then... Next, my biggest addition that you guys have not seen, crap, they're in their pouch. If you can't tell by the cage, they are sugar gliders. One sec, let me try and get them out. Where's my glove? Where's my glove? One sec. Come here, baby. Come here. All right. This right here is my female sugar glider. Her name's Boo. Um, she's about two and a half years old. She's pregnant right now, so I don't really want to mess around with her too much. But and then Lou is in his pouch right now. I don't feel like getting him out. He's a little bit more mean, and she just took a crap. But um, yeah, she's really cute. She's sweet and she's really nice. But I'm wearing a glove because her nails are pretty sharp. And um, so I'm gonna put her back in our cage though. Because she just ate and she's probably spazzing because it's nighttime. Come on, sleepy. <laughs> but there she goes back in her pouch. But that's them. Um, they're eating right now some sweet potatoes or yams and then some romaine. My salamander is down in the bin down there. It's got a heat pad underneath just to keep them extra warm and a lot of humidity in there. Because sometimes I can't miss their cage every day because I'm a busy kid. So nothing much has changed. Um, if you guys haven't realized, I don't have my Savannah monitor anymore. Um, and I got rid of him. And then I don't have my chocolate shrimp or albino giant leopard gecko. Um, I had to get rid of them to get my sugar gliders. But I mean, it's a pretty good deal. I got my sugar gliders from a breeder, Evan Kilo Exotics, for $200. Crazy, right? 
um, their breeder pair, and then I got a cage also for two hundred dollars. So all that with two, for two hundred dollars in a pouch and some food. And so you guys should check him out. He's pretty cool and really resourceful. And um, I'll make a special video of them soon. But uh.